Hi, welcome to 441, MEEM 441. Today, we are, what we are going to do is take a very simple problem and show how to calculate the, um, uh, the uh, endurance limit, the factors of safety, uh, how long it will last, the whole, the, the whole deal for a particular problem. So, the problem at hand is going to be this. So, we want to calculate what is the factor of safety under different loading conditions. What we need for this, so the method is the following. So let me set this size up right. The key things we need. From the material, we need SE, which is endurance limit. SF, which is 10 to the 3 cycle limit. and SUT, which is the ultimate tensile strength. From the loading, we need sigma alternate and sigma mean. These are equivalent. This is actually 1 meses. 1 meses. All our calculations are based on this set of items. Let us see uh, if we can do this thing right. So, we are actually going to look at a fairly complex problem and some of the things we are not going to do in full detail because we want to do this a little bit uh, later in all kinds of different for different kinds of loading and so on. So, we will wait for the graph for a second. Okay. So, what we are going to do is we are going to look at an example problem. Example, we are given the following data. We know the SUT. Let us say it is 500 MPa. We will compute SF. This is F times SUT, which turns out to be, let us say, 450 MPa. And let us say, after all the corrected, so this one is SE prime times K surface k load, k size, k temp, all this junk, that is what gives me SE. Let us say it is 190 MPa. So, we got this 3 data. This is how long it will last in 10 to the 3 cycles. This is how long it will last. Um, this is how long it will last with infinite life or at least 10 to the 6 life. Okay. So, what can you do with this? So, what we do is the following and I am going to show only one method because this is simple enough and good enough for most purposes. So, what we are going to do is we are going to plot and I will try I will try to do all these things by hand so you can see. So, I am going to plot um, uh, SUT here, SUT was 500, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, there that is 500. So, that is point number 1. Then, here I am going to plot 100, 200, 300, 400, let us say 500. So, first thing I am going to do is mark 450, that is here. 
So this one, let's use a different color. Let me use red color here. That's the mark 450. This is SF. Okay. The next thing is SE is 190. So that's 100. SE is there. I'm going to mark it in a different color. That's going to be green light. So 100 there. That's SE. So what we do is, we are actually going to draw a straight line like that and a straight line like this. Oops, let me, let me pick the right color and a straight line like this. And we are going to look at different possibilities. So this is infinite life. This is finite life. And this is no life, that is less than 10 to the 3. Okay, this is basically the dead region. And if you are close here, please watch out for yield strength. Okay, so now let us say you did material. So this is as far as material analysis goes. And let us say after all your corrections and things like that, you have your load analysis. Loads. And after correcting, you know, KF, K load and all that, KF times sigma, alternating and all of this, let us pick some value, okay. Let us say sigma alternating, after all your calculations, turns out to be, um, let us say, uh, 100 megapascals and sigma mean turns out to be 20 megapascals, okay. So let's mark that. So now we are getting to the heart of this thing. So let me pick a nice color. There you go. So sigma mean is 100 megapascals. So it's here. Sigma alternating. So sigma alternating is 100. So it's here. Sigma mean is 50. So it's here. So you are right here. Okay. First thing you notice is by looking at this graph, you can already see that this is safe, infinite life. So the question is, what is the, the factor of safety? So I'll show you graphically what it means and then we can compute it. So factor of safety, what you do is you start out here and you draw a line. Let us call this the start line S. This is the operating point O, this is the danger point D. Okay, so if I just continue all this way, so then FOS will be SD over SO. That's what we are doing for factor of safety. How much is that? Well, let's see. This turns out to be equal to, if you do, this is basic math. So now you do the math and you will get it is 1 over S sigma A over S E plus sigma mean over S U T. That is a factor of safety. That is what we really mean. So this one is the headroom you have. This is the amount you have already used up. So this turns out to be 1 over let us see, mm -hmm. uh, 1 over a sigma a, 100 divided by 190 plus 20 divided by 500, which turns out to be, and now I am going to use the calculator so that we can see how much it is. So this turns out to be equal to 1 over 100 divided by 190 plus 20 divided by 500, 1.7, factor of safety is about 1.8, uh, let us say 1.7, let us make it kind of safe and so we got our factor of safety, very good, got that right, so you saw the method, it is a fairly straightforward thing. Now let us look at the next situation number 2. 
now i tell you that sm is 0 sa is 250 mega where are you now you are going to be here hundred two hundred two fifty you are right there first thing you realize is this is the finite life